in you good? Yeah. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, step. Thanks. The Cleveland Indians faced off Ready the weather. Ages at Progressive Field last night. I'll have more details in my sports report. Take them. The weather was very Ready spring like this morning. Will it continue? Stay tuned for my forecast. Take them. Ready Today A. Ready sound first, on A. And this is your Friday flashcast. Roll it. Take it. This Ready B. GB2 Ready news. sound on B. Roll track takes. And ready two. And fade. Kent Blue. State President Beverly Warren is set to officially be sworn in as Kent State's 12th president. Hello and welcome to today's Flashcast. I'm Angela Russo. And I'm Sabrina Scott. Today's events will cap off a special week home ready at full the screen? University to yeah, celebrate lose the president officially being sworn in. The ceremony would take place in the take Mac it. Center on Kent State's main campus. Doors are set to, to open at 12.30, and the Ready, ceremony is one. set to begin at 2 p.m. If you can't make it to the event, you can live stream the ceremony at www.kent.edu slash president slash inauguration. Take her. We'll have full team coverage from the inauguration ceremony tonight during our 5.30. Ready, three. Take her. Former Kent State University Ready, president full gathered yesterday for a discussion panel. Take Dr. It. Beverly Warren received some valuable input from her predecessors during a rare Advanced. gathering of former presidents, including Michael Schwartz, uh, Carol Cartwright, and Lester Lefton. Advanced. Topics included higher education, Ready challenges to. of presidency, and more. Take them. Ready weather? And the weather's been really nice lately, I feel like. It really has. I'm so excited to bring out my summer wardrobe. Like, you know, I just want to know, like, if, is it going to stay nice Wrap this for finals? Yeah, oh, thank you, too. Like, what's our weekend going to be like? Oh. No, ready weather. It's going to stay uh, ready weather. nice, Sabrina take weather. and Angela, but first we're going to take a look take at weather. temperatures across <laughs> the Northeast Ohio region. We are seeing temperatures sitting at about 57 here in Kent. Doing a little worse like, in Cleveland oh, at 48, 53 in Mansfield. Same in Ashtabula, taking Lose a look it. farther to the west. Ready one, me in too. And 53 in Mansfield. I know. As we take a look here closer back to Kent, there's really not any clouds in the sky right now. Very sunny, 57 as I did say. Real feel is about 53 degrees, so not much of a difference there. The relative humidity is quite high at 83%. We got a slight breeze at 5 miles per hour coming out of the north. Ready, one. That's really not going to be affecting our temperature at all today. Not going to be any seeing anything in the ways of precipitation today. The Ohio radar is quite clear. Nothing really to speak of. We're not going to see the rain return until on? about Monday. As we take a look at the day planner, though, that's where we saw temperatures sitting about 48 degrees for, for this morning rush, about 9 a.m. Not really any clouds to speak of. We can see a little bit of cloud coverage move into the noon hour, about 63 we'll degrees. Now. It'll hit our high of about 65, 67 degrees around the 5 o'clock hour, and the sun continues to shine. So that's the uh, good news for today. Tonight, though, temperatures will drop down to about 43 degrees, mostly clear, very pleasant. Open up your windows tonight. Let that breeze come into your dorm rooms and into your homes. So take a look at tomorrow. It'll be very spring-like at 71. Temperatures will rebound, mostly He's clear. You could see a little bit of clouds that. in the sky. <laughs> and uh, the high will move in to the Ohio Valley, which will be uh, all the way through, uh, all, all the way with us for the rest of the weekend. Rain will return for Monday. For the final time on TV2, I'm Sean Lowe. Be sure to tune in to your full forecast tonight at 530. Sabrina? Take it. Thank you, Sean. Ready, three. A Summit County mm -hmm. woman is facing a burglary charge after several Kent residents returned to their Valley View Drive home Saturday afternoon. The residents chased 25-year-old uh, Emma Higginbotham after seeing her run out the front door. Kay. Kent police returned the belongings to Higginbotham stool. She's being held in the Portage County Jail while waiting for Have Angela look at dates. And take her. Baltimore police and Good. force Ready, are for a third Ready, sound night on as a. new oh. details about Freddie Gray's death investigation surface. Reporter Ryan Nobles has the latest. World track take. Police stand toe to toe with Stand-by key too. Ready to enforce the third night of a citywide so overnight so curfew. So weird, yeah, the triple box. Activists and local leaders stepped in, telling people to go home. Earlier, crowds marched peacefully through the and city on back Thursday, to three, so good. protesting the death of Freddie Gray in police custody. That'd be Meanwhile, cool. varying accounts have emerged about exactly what happened after Gray's arrest. Police reveal an additional previously unmentioned van stop, arousing suspicion about why it wasn't previously mentioned. I mean, did he get out of the van? How long was he there? Did he go to the back of the van? Is the back of the van visible on video? So those are some things that we also need to hear about that stop. WJLA reports Seven, that investigators six, found the injury five, Gray suffered four, may have happened in the back of the police van, two, not during his arrest. Take. Stick with TV2 Ready News to? and KentWire.com for the latest developments out of Baltimore as the case continues to unfold. Take them.
the Cleveland Indians were ready back for? in action last night against ready, ready, Toronto. Sports take our Zach Holt joins us now with that and more. Zach? Take him. Key two. Thanks, guys. Before we get to the Tribe, we'll start with this. But Lose first, it? the Clive are, the clubs are swinging a lot of the Flashes men's <laughs> golf team <laughs> will look to capture its the seventh Mac one. title. The okay. tournament will be held in Mayfield Sand Ridge Club, <laughs> which is known for holding many prestigious tournaments. All right, you're ready, A? The senior and junior amateur and the NCAA you, Division I men's regional in 06. Senior Taylor Zoller will look to lead the Flashes to advance the NCAA regionals. Live play will begin today at 11 a.m. And from swinging the clubs to swinging the bats, a tribe okay. went up against the Blue Jays last night. Let's take a look at the highlight. Roll it, take it. So we got top Add four. Theme. Tribe already down 1 0. And it's going to get ripped yes. all the way down okay. the right field. So we're going to ready B. Tribe not playing ready too well right way. now. They're going to score a runner right there. And they'll swing it all the way it's back into sports. the infield. Batista will score. And, you know, that's just not looking too good for the tribe okay. to start off. Cool. We're so going to do that we'll white. Back, we'll get down. In Tribe's between. down 5 0. And Brantley will rip one to left field. That you might take back run. to reporter. Tribe's finally going to get one run in for, for this game against the Blue Jays. You know, still yeah. down four runs, though. And then we'll go again. Brandon Moss rips it. Nine, back, back, eight. back, back. We're going to go back to reporter. And snag. Watch out for four, the ball, man. Three, Tribe will two, end up losing five one. to the Blue Jays. Oh, take back to him. And ready, B. And sport wave it. Or not, the just roll it. <laughs> in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Tampa you Bay Buccaneers. You can. 2 1, ready for? Jameis Winston. Take back. The NFL Draft is a stepping okay. stone for many awkward. young college athletes' lives. That's from Newtown one. High School to Florida State. Cool. And now, famous Jameis Winston will start his NFL career in Tampa Bay. For Cleveland Browns fans, the Browns snag defensive tackle Ready, Danny one. Shelton from Washington and center Cameron Irving from Florida State as well. The training camp for all these future stars will begin in mid-July. And that will wrap up my T2. sports report. Be sure to follow us at tw on Twitter at TV2KSU Sports. And lose I'm it. Zach Holt. Sabrina. Take her. Thanks, Zach. Ready, A? I think you're bringing your day with a phone call from your favorite star when you're sick. Roll it, take 12 it. 12-year-old Emily Beasley from Chicago talked to ha Taylor Swift on Wednesday. Swift's mother was Ready recently two. diagnosed with cancer, while Beasley has been facing a difficult Camera form of cancer Camera 2 herself. tilt up a little bit. The conversation with Swift lasted and for 10 right minutes, there. and Beasley's family said Emily had the biggest smile on her face afterwards. Take him. You know, I think that's so cool that Taylor Swift Stretch it. called her. Yeah, yeah. so nice. Huge Taylor Swift fan. She called me, I'd be crazy. <laughs> I, I would feel the same way. <laughs> well, before we and go, we want to give a big congratulations to our cool. executive producer, Elena Altieri, who is graduating next week. We wish her nothing but the best in the future. Thank you for watching today's Flashcast. Be sure to tune in to TV2 News tonight at 5 p.m. Really really for updates on these stories and more. Okay, ready, Lurisa, five. And I'm Sabrina Scott. And from all of us at TV2 News, have a ready, great time. Five. Five. five, and take it. Ready, six, and dissolve. Ready, end macro. Hit it.